Hi guys, this is the RC Stone guy, aka KaufmanStone.com, aka David Kaufman Stone, aka Brad Pitt. Just kidding. Brad Stone. So, why are we here? We're here because we like to appreciate good design. So that means we go around, we look at design, and we tell them, I like it, we don't like it. And why do I have any kind of uh, voice to, to ventilate or to say what I like? It's because I've been in the stone business for 25 years. I am, I am so into stone. I changed my name into Stone. I'm only David Kaufman, but I put Stone in the end because that's how passionate I am about it. So I am David Kaufman Stone. So I have been adopted by my company. You don't believe me? Go to the Security and Exchange Commission. You will see our articles of our incorporation there. Kaufman Stone Incorporated, 1997. Okay, so not 25 years, let's say 24, 23, whatever. But that's older than you. I'm sure whoever's watching this, my company was born before you were born, okay? In 97, I bet you're only born 2001, okay? And that's good because I'm here to teach you, okay? I'm here to share my knowledge. Wow, Senti. I'm here to share my knowledge. Why am I here to share my knowledge? Because I've been given a lot of opportunities by some of the best designers in the Philippines, like Loxin, like Calma, like Nazareno, like uh, Albert Yu, like GNW, like Palafox, they have all shared their knowledge to me. I have done their projects, Ong Lao. So these people have been so generous with their knowledge that they have taught me what I know. My company was able to gain projects under its belt and track records. 25 years is what it took me to get to this point, and I'm here to share it with you, free of charge, no commitments, ask, don't have to buy anything, you just have to watch and learn. So, why am I here to talk about Ivana Alawi? Hi guys, welcome Alawi. back to my channel. So it's because she has a house in Bahrain. And you know, Bahrain is known for their luxury spaces. I've never watched this before, so as I watch it, you will be watching it. And we're going to comment in it together. Now, Bahrain is a... Uh, a very rich country and I was just there and I believe they have one of the best airports in the world they have a royal family and they really spend they have onyx for their countertops they have wood for the ceiling they have marble on the walls and this is just the airport when I was in the airport I said to them wow five-star airport and you know what they said to me it's not five star seven star that's how expensive the airport is so Ivana is in Bahrain so obviously, she's going to have a house of a uh, high level of finishing because you cannot have synthetic materials in Bahrain. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm just telling you now that from what I know, you're going to find real materials there, real wood, real stone, everything is Italian. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a house that is, uh, it, they, they don't call them house in the uh, Middle East, they call them villa. Okay? So when you, go to, when you live in the Middle East, uh, they say, oh yes, I have a villa. Because that's the way that they discuss it. So, of course, the garden, I'm not such a fan because they use the synthetic grass. But hello, this is uh, Middle East. You cannot have real grass in the Middle East because it's a uh, desert. So how will they keep the grass green? So obviously, it's going to be synthetic grass. And we have something in common. I have synthetic grass! Anyway, so here, we're looking at the door. See, solid. Unlike the door of the Pinoy Architect, which is made out of PVC, and the other door is made out of Paluchina, hers is a solid wooden door. And it is a uh, mahogany, and it's satin finish. So that's what we like. You know the, the door of uh, that other guy, what's his name, the basketball Kramer guy? He made it out of planks, because they don't have one whole piece. So parang dinuktong, duktong, duktong. Now, like that, because they don't have one whole slab. If you are rich, 
you have the door one piece, di ba? Mga loxin, one piece. Mga uh, kalma, one piece. If you have like that, ibig sabihin, budget. Okay. Ivana, let's go. So we're looking at her door. It is one piece. Satin finish. Not like the Pinoy Arctic, which is shiny. Okay, I don't like her floor because it's tiles. I don't know why she used tiles because you're in Bahrain and uh, you can buy stone and you're already spending on the, on the house. So I don't believe that they would have chosen to have a, a tiled floor. Although maybe they wanted it very, very simple. This looks like a very Middle Eastern house. I mean, just look at that sofa right now. That is so Middle Eastern. It looks rich, looks expensive, but that's what they want. You know, people in the Bahrain and Abu Dhabi and Dubai, they always want it to look expensive. It may, it's not my taste, but they want it expensive. And, and it's so new. Because the TV is not even there. Walang TV. But honestly, I think this is a... This is what you call a model unit. I think it's a model unit. I don't see any bags. I don't see any signs of live, lived in. I don't see any shoes. I see one tissue box. It's not even open. Brand new ang tissue box. See, look. This is a TV. They're supposed to put the TV there. There's a plug. There's no TV. It's just a parang butas on the wall with no TV. Okay, I won't doubt the ownership. I believe it's your house. But I can see it's all tone on tone. Beige, white, cream, taupe. All in visual harmony. Unlike normally, if, you, if it's a normal person's house, you have something old, you have an old this, you have an old that. Parang may halo halong old pieces and new pieces. This is all very new. But generally, it's not the way it is. You know, Filipinos don't just do that. They don't, if you live in Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Bahrain, you're, you're normally going to express your yourself as a Filipino. And Filipino design is generally going to have a lot of color. So when you see this all beige, all white, that means there's, not a Filip there's no Filipino involved in this design. It's a foreigner. The design is by a local national of Bahrain because it's all too perfect. And you can see, even the, even the, there's a plant there. Can you see the plant by the door? There's a ribbon around the plant. So parang, I don't know, it looks too made up to me. I'm sorry. And uh, every, so every chair, every uh, throw pillow is in the exact location. So ito ang ating living it's, room. It doesn't look lived in. It doesn't look like a normal house of a person. Hey, better be careful, Mr. Kaufman. Baka troll farm na naman tayo. Remember, 13 million! I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna crash. Ang internet service namin, baka crash. That's a country. Do you know that's more Bahrain? It's only about 1 million people. She has 13 million. So parang 13 Bahrain is following this girl. Ivana, Ilana Awani. Ivana Alawi. Okay, so we're looking at the bedroom. It's like, you know, of course everything is nice. I mean, it's like everything's expensive, everything's rich. Look at the bed. The bed still has plastic on it. There, case and point, evidence. When you sell the bed, the bami parang plastic cover on top on top of the bed, parang ganyan. What does it mean? That means they're not living in it yet. Her house still has plastic on the bed. Maybe she bought it yesterday. Even the Kramer house, you can tell someone lives there. The the payaman, you can tell someone lives there. This one, no one lives here. This is all showcase house. I mean, there's still plastic on the bed. It doesn't have a bed sheet. There's nothing in the toilets. The toilet paper is still brand new. It's like ang kapal ng toilet paper. So, but it's okay. It's for Middle Eastern design. The taste is for Middle Eastern people. Filipinos won't like this. I promise you. Filipinos will not like this at all. This is all for Middle Eastern market. But if you bring this to the Middle East, Bahrain, they'll like it because that's their taste. People in the Middle East, they like gold. They like silk. They like shiny. They like uh, marble. They like they like uh, expensive things because that's the Middle East. Middle Eastern taste is like that. I know it because I go to Dubai, I go to Bahrain, I go to Abu Dhabi, I go to uh, Oman. So I'm very familiar with the taste of, um, of that market. So what you're showing me right now, the Ivana house is for that.
specific target market, meaning the buyers will respond positively. Kung nakita nila nito, the buyers will like it. Yan ang ibig sabihin, the market will respond positively, meaning it's for the uh, Bahrain nationals. So when they see it, they will like it. They will like the silk, they will like the silver, they will like the platinum, they will like the gold, and it's all part of their culture. Because um, just like if you Google, uh, Dubai, UAE, Saudi, Middle East, it's always about luxury. It's always about expense. So that to me makes me conclude that either A, she bought a house that was already pre-finished, so meaning A, she's renting the house, B, she bought the house finished with all the things inside, and what do you think? Are Filipinos that way? No. Filipinos like to express themselves. Filipinos are creative. They want to choose the wall finish. They want to choose the tile finish. They want to choose the, the bed sheet. They want to choose the, the carpeting, right? Everyone. There's no one in this country. Zero. Zero. We'll say, I want it. Okay, ikaw na lang bahala. Just give me a finished house. It does not exist. So, look. There. Two jackets. One... What is that jacket? Fendi. And the other one is a maybe like um, Gucci. But does that look like a closet? And then there's one shoe. Can you see it? One shoe. Not even a, not even a lady's shoe. It's a one rubber shoe and two jackets. So that to me means uh, it's what you call staged. So I'm not saying like it is not hers. I'm just saying that some people might think it's not hers. Proof that this is a person's house. There has to be clothes. There has to be so much makeup, especially a girl. If you have a girl, your cabinet is full of stuff. Shower. I mean, uh, the wall here is in, in uh, marble, so that's great. You know, it's something like this. Because in, like I said, in, in, in Bahrain, in uh, Bahrain, they always love to use real marble. So they are using real marble here. And so she's really paying attention to it, and uh, she likes it. So, and the walls are marble, but it's not real. It's like a tile. So that would have been better in real marble. But, you know, even in Bahrain, maybe they're trying to have something that is low cost. Control the expenses to increase the profit. So I believe that's what we're seeing here. Now, it's not at all like, uh, I'm not saying that this house is bad. It's because obviously it's made for the... Bahrain market. Let's just say it's her father or mother's house. So if it's a father or mother's house, then that means it's either Filipino or Western. So if it's Filipino, it's not Filipino style. So that's it, period. If it's the dad's money, it's not Western style. So if it's not Filipino, it's not Western. So whose style is it? My next it's the developer's Bye. style. Now, thank you for watching Artsy Stone Guy. Subscribe and like, okay? So you will hear more about this this is honesty. I didn't say anything that is untrue here today. Everything that I disclose, everything that I mention is 100% factual. I'm not even giving an opinion. If I say it's, it's this or that, I'm saying it in a way that I'm not, it's non-committal. So thank you so much. Please subscribe and like to Artsy Stone Guy. Visit us on kaufmanstone.com or Artsy Stone Guy. Thank you. Goodbye.